Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just received a deck in the mail from my good friend, Bridget Rao, Divine Time Oracle. So I decided I'm going to do a pick a card about when are you going to reconnect, when, when, when. Just just like giving us a time frame of things and when they're going to get better in the connection, when they're going to change. There's a lot of other cards. These piles are pretty hefty. So please continue to comment. Um, especially in my pickup piles. My pickup piles don't circulate a lot and I love them. Like I personally get a lot of answers from my own pickup piles. But um, so please, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you guys for your support. I'm all decked out in Rising Sun Oracles bracelets. I have this turquoise evil eye and then I have a whale, a cat and a frog. And then I have some over here. So uh, if you resonate with pile number one, it's the whale bracelet this one's a cat and this one's a frog that's my favorite one because green is my favorite color so um think about which one resonates with you although i love them all they're just like all equally beautiful and then we'll go ahead and get started okay so pile number one is the whale of a tail so let's see when things in your connection are going to shift what's going on i have a lot of zodiac sign stuff in here although Actually, this other deck has other cards in it, so I don't know what it's going to say. 616, egotistical. Watch your spending responsibilities. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so you could be dealing with maybe a little bit your spending responsibilities. Um, I feel like this kind of like a narcissist, egotistical, okay? You could be dealing with someone who's very indulgent in any way, okay? Um, counting minutes, add the digits, patience. Okay, so you guys might be really waiting on this person to get their crap together. Okay, you could just be constantly looking at the clock, waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, you've got, as flowers appear, a new dawn is here, blossom. So um, it could have been, it could be next spring, unfortunately. You could be waiting a long time for this person to get their stuff together um, because flowers blooming is, you know, spring. I also feel like if you maybe make some changes in your life, when things start changing, then things can change. Nothing changes if nothing changes. I don't know if you guys ever heard that. These cards are so beautiful. I want you to be able to see them. So I'm going to put it like that. There we go. Okay. Um, any day now, expect to be wowed. Complacency. So, um... This is weird because this one is saying like you're counting the minutes. So it's really unexpected, I feel like, when this person's going to arrive. It could be next spring. It could literally be any day now. But don't get complacent. Don't stop your life because this person has some stuff they have to deal with. We've got a Scorpio energy here. Okay, it could be around Scorpio season. We've got Eros, which is like love and romance and sex. Okay, you could have a really strong romantic connection, sexual. Ooh, we've got a solar eclipse coming up. So any day now could be then, okay? It could be during the solar eclipse. I think that's like next week. Cuddle time. You could end up having some physical intimacy with this person or you could have had a very intimate relationship with them, like physical, all right? Maybe you're just really craving that. Maybe they're craving that. Maybe there's something with cats that resonates with your connection. Night sky. You could have had like a midnight lover, all right? So what's that song that just came up in my head? Um, Part-time lover. Part-time lover. I don't know. It could have been someone where you just met up with them at night. But I feel like it was a very sexual with the Scorpio and the cuddle time. Look, the thought of your body still turns me on. So they're still thinking about you sexually. This person just has stuff that they need to figure out here. I still remember the look in your eyes when I when I last saw you and it breaks my heart. Look at this. The eyes and the eyes. So there's something about your eyes that really they connected to, okay? Um, wow. I We never had a chance to enjoy the simple things together. That's what I'm saying. You guys just had the sexual connection. You could have had a connection that was like blooming in the spring. Um, you could have had someone that was kind of narcissistic, someone that made you wait on them a lot, all right? So we never had a chance to do just like the simple things together, all right? And then these are the tarot cards. We got seven of pentacles. I feel like all you ever wanted was this person to invest time and energy into you, though. So you're willing to invest it, and you're waiting for them to invest it. Okay. 
um, the Empress, Divine Feminine, all right? So this could be a twin flame. This could be they're starting to see you in this feminine-like energy where they're, um, like, really ready to, you know, come forward and be your masculine. Let's see what other tarot cards we got here. I'm not doing any reversals. Yeah, they are going to come fast. It's going to be very erratic and unexpected. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They might have things that they want to communicate to you. They might just like suddenly rush in out of nowhere. They might have some like revelation or thoughts and they may be finally ready to invest in you and stop their spending. They're putting their money into other things. It's like they're going to start putting their pentacles into you. And it says any day now. So expect the unexpected with this pile. That's the energy I'm getting. We've got Scorpio again. There's going to be a major transformation. And this is the butterfly. And this Knight of Swords is a transformation, I feel like, in their crown chakra. Where they're just going to have a sudden realization. And they're just going to suddenly change and transform and come to you. So um, there's going to be a death of something in their world. Not like a physical death, but a spiritual death. And then I feel like they're going to come forward. And they're going to want to match up to your empress energy. So I feel this person really desires you. Um, they think about your body. This is a very physically intimate um, pile with the eros. It's like very like sexual like naughty energy here and the thought of your body still turns me on which is clear with this empress so this is like the way they see you this image with her boobs and just holding her body like they see you as like a goddess this person so and there's something about your eyes that they really connect to i really do think this is like a twin flame pile with this empress card okay all right so that is pile number one i thought it was a pretty good message we're going to move on to pile number two and i love the way the colors of all these cards um blend together i didn't plan that but these are the ones i intuitively chose this is my for um from him to her old souls and separation uh bridget ralph you guys don't know she has her own channel as well and she makes a lot of really beautiful decks so if you picked the kitty the pussycat number two so beautiful okay let's see what we got going on here all right 717, star seeds, light code, awaken, loved, all right? So you guys might see this number frequently as well. Um, that could be a number that you see a lot. It's a star seed number you could identify as a star seed. We've got strength, Leo energy. Strength is also about restraining. For some, this could be something that happens during Leo season, so around August, July. Ace of swords, um some clarity. I don't know. Every, people do where they, every like sword and every cup and every pentacle card, they identify as a sign and the swords do mean air signs, but I don't do that for the minor arcana. So I just thought of that now, but, um, I do feel like this person's going to have some sudden clarity here. Um, they're going to get strong kind of, they're going to have like an awakening of some sort. Um, and then they're going to want to offer you some like tangible new beginning. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy that you could be dealing with. It could be during those seasons. So we just passed Taurus, so it could be Virgo or Capricorn time period, but I'm seeing it more as someone who is going to want to start something with you, okay? Um, there's someone in this situation, though, that has like a lot of ego. This also could mean that you will have success soon with the Six of Wands. This is about victory and success. So I feel like um, this could just be, you know, success or it could be someone that has a big ego that they need to get over okay we've got a few months away will be the big day saving so that's what i'm saying with the july and august it really could be a lot around leo time all right um balance the mind stop wasting time procrastination so um i feel this is saying you know don't wait for this situation though don't um just waste your time in the meantime it could be a few months away but you don't want to just waste your time in between you want to do productive things in the meantime okay um what are you waiting for open the door that's what it's saying stop wasting time open the door so if there's something that you want to do in the meantime don't stop it open the door right now whatever it is you want to do because it might be that this person actually comes along when you do decide to walk through your own door of some sort. So don't waste your time waiting. Don't procrastinate. Don't put off things. You know, there's like a clear message here. We've got Lilith. 
Okay, so this is like kind of the dark sexual underworld. There's some unconscious things I feel like going on here. We've got Leo energy again, the sun. So definitely something could happen during Leo season here. All right, we've got Libra, which is like um, October. So I feel this all could be between July and October, this situation, okay? But you also could be a Libra or they could be a Libra. We've got free loving. So I feel like this could be someone who's kind of like a hippie like or you're kind of like a hippie or, you know, this is a situation that made you feel very free or this person could be not really ready to settle down yet. But in a few months, they might be 70s. Yeah, there's like a very hippie energy here. Um, this person might like you guys might connect over 70s music. OK, um, I feel like this person makes you feel really free and you're kind of waiting for them to like liberate you. But it has to be you that liberates yourself first. I beat myself up for how I treated you. I was shallow and overlooked your uniqueness in the beginning. This person has major regret. So I feel like this time they're trying to get the clarity and they're awakening to the connection that you guys had and they maybe had this ego where they weren't able to see and they overlooked you and now they're starting to realize um you know your significance i still like hearing from you even when i ignore you yeah this person's a cocky mofo um they they have an ego for sure because the sun is ego too and so it's leo represents the ego so they've got to get off their high horse but maybe there's something in the meantime that you're gonna do open the door and stop wasting time and pursue your own maybe even like education or some new beginning and that's what's gonna make them realize the error of their ways okay um they're gonna awaken to this connection through you finding yourself and maybe you to start giving your love away to other people but also i wouldn't be free loving with them i wouldn't give them you know love right away if they do come back you they have to earn it all right there will be a big day here um i feel like you guys have been waiting for it though and i feel like first you have to open the door of something in your own personal life before this could happen okay um capricorn taurus virgo and leo are the energies i'm getting for this pile so all right and libra sorry all right so that is pile number two actually it's interesting because i that was the cat which is the leo so i didn't even know any of these cards so that's crazy um definitely don't wait around though just do your thing and become a strong like you're like embrace that leo energy in yourself All right, pile number three, we've got Defragi. Let's see, okay. I don't know all these stones. I can't remember the name of them, but they're beautiful. Let's see what's behind door number three, okay? The timing of your connection. What is this? Wisdom, yesterday came, tomorrow will too. It's time to decide what you will do. There's a glass of wine here. Oh, no, this is, I'm looking, maybe that's a sign. I thought it was a glass of wine. It's an hourglass. So time is, time keeps on slipping, slipping into the future. All right. It's time to make a decision. A few weeks to go. You can make it fast or make it slow. So something significant, you might have to make a decision within the next few weeks. You've got perspective. You might gain more perspective in the next few weeks. Okay. You might get clarity. We've got Cancer energy here. We've got Capricorn energy here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or Cancer. There could be something around Cancer season or Capricorn season, or you could be a Capricorn or Cancer, which is interesting because those are the two polar opposites. <laughs> opposites. Gemini, this is the season. So something in the next week, I feel like could really be big in your dynamic that's going to help you make a decision in this Gemini season, okay? 60s, you could have a connection with this person that involves like 60s music or 60s throwbacks. There's something about the 60s, maybe the energy, like the all the revolutionary stuff that's happening right now could change things could make something happen basking in the sun that's the sun where i'm at in the in florida but in the u.s you know it's the summer in a lot of places i know it's not but i feel this time in the sun this this time period right now is determining the rest of your life and your connection some decision you have to make i think about you often when i pleasure myself so this person thinks about you sexually 
I think of you when I'm having sex with her. Okay, so they think of you. Oh, wow. So um, they might end up communicating this to you or you might end up figuring that out somehow. I made you feel rejected because I wanted the upper hand. Okay, so they play games. They don't want to show you how they truly feel. Um, there could be something about what's going on right now, like especially in the U.S. with the protests and stuff that's like affecting this. I feel there's a lot currently right now that's setting the stage for the future for you guys. Yeah, this person has selfish behavior. They do a lot of underhanded things. They say, I do it because I want the upper hand. They're admitting that from their higher self. Yep, there's going to be a tower moment in this connection in the next few weeks. But I think it's going to help you guys make a decision. You're going to see, you're going to realize things. There's going to be some sort of communication, some movement. You're not going to be stagnant forever in this connection, okay? But you're going to ultimately make your way to this, like, complete happy ending. So you're going to be fulfilled. It's not Ten of Cups, but you're going to find your ultimate stability, your ultimate groundedness. You're going to find your fall, your solid footing after this tower moment. Wow. So the story is really going to end up being really well after this, okay? Pour some more, close the door, break time, okay? So you might need to go away for a while from this connection and give it a break and do what you need to do and let the chips fall and, you know, figure out where you're going to go from here and maybe just give it some space. Spring. When spring has sprung, it will all be done. So spring has already sprung. I mean, it could be next spring, but I feel like spring, this past spring could have been significant to this connection. Maybe you don't know things that happened in the spring, but it also could be saying that there was something significant about this connection in the spring that that's just the overall energy you guys have had. There's a lot about, there's a lot of green energy here. Heart chakra, the Gemini's green, and look, the, the, the frog was green, and I told you guys green was my favorite color. So um, I do think there's going to be a major shift and there's going to be a major clarity in this connection really soon here, okay? Um, eight could be in the eighth month of the year. What is that, August? Um, I feel by August and going into September, October 10, like things are going to be a lot different, but it's all happening right now during Gemini season. And by Capricorn season, you're going to have a totally different view and Cancer season, you're still going to kind of be in the thick of it. But I definitely feel like you're either dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, Capricorn, or someone that has that those heavy elements in their chart. But by next spring, everything will be different. Um, don't get too dwell on the past. Just try to keep moving forward, okay? And even if it's slow, just make slow movements, make decisions to keep moving forward, all right? All right, so that's my pick-a-pile, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.